Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Mangotology. In today's video, I'm going to be exposing Joy Villa, the Scientologist who's considering running for office who's being endorsed by Donald Trump. She was also the recording artist who wore the Make America Great Again dress at the Grammys. I have a lot of information on her, so buckle in your seatbelt because I'm going to be exposing Joy Villa today. If you want to see more videos exposing Scientologists, as well as the Church of Scientology, my interviews with other former Scientologists, I'm going to be posting members-only exclusive content on my Patreon page. If you'd like to get more information on becoming a Patreon member and seeing my exclusive-only content exposing the Church of Scientology, you can go to patreon.com slash stevenmango. So who is Joy Villa and why should any of us care about who Joy Villa is? Now, Joy Villa is a recording artist and she's a musician. She's not very well known like outside of like Scientology circles until recently when she started doing like these public relations sort of stunts in order to get in like the mainstream media. Um, she went to Celebrity Center. Here are a few other photos of Joy and her affiliation with Scientology including a photo of her with Connor Cruz. I was at Celebrity Center at the same time she was. I didn't personally know her, like at least I don't remember her or anything like that, but she was basically like an up-and-coming wannabe musician and she released some different songs. She had like an album or two out, but she wasn't actually like known by like the mainstream like public. You wouldn't hear her music on like the radio, but she was trying really hard to get like into the limelight and to get famous and to be like a real like pop star, I guess you can say. So she was invited to the Grammys for the last like two, three years, I believe, and each year she had a different dress or was wearing something in order to get like public attention. The Make America Great Again dress landed Joy on the worst dress list for the Grammys. So most recently, Joy wore the Make America Great Again dress. I'm sure all of you guys have seen this by now. She was the girl, of course, the Scientologist said that too, who was wearing the Trump dress at the Grammys. Now that's what kind of launched her, I guess, so to speak, into more public widespread attention of like, who is this girl? Like, why is she wearing this dress? And, you know, what is this all about? I think even after this as well, she went completely viral. She did have an album out at the same time, like when this all started going viral, right after she wore this on the Grammys red carpet. And her album basically skyrocketed to like number one, like on like the music charts. So other people started interviewing her and trying to figure out about like her political beliefs and affiliations and that sort of thing. Now, First off, I'm not sure if Joy is a second generation or a first generation Scientologist. But she did um, get married as well at like the flag ballroom. So, so she is very involved with Scientology, obviously. And you could even see her on different Scientology websites. She's even given success stories for Scientology, such as this. I'm Joy, I'm a singer-songwriter, and I'm a Scientologist. Learning Scientology has enabled me to really reach higher than I thought possible. My first course that I took was Overcoming Ups and Downs in Life, and that changed my life. Immediately I started making leaps and bounds in my artwork and the types of people I was attracting. It seemed like it went from dark to light almost instantly. Scientology tools have taught me how to really interact with people. I could make eye contact quicker. My communication skills were better. I was getting more yeses instead of noes. I had that confidence that I was looking for. So it's very wide known that Joy is a very public Scientologist who believes in the aims and trying to forward the purpose of L. Ron Hubbard in Scientology. Now this all goes into play on what's going to be happening if she does run for some form of office. So first and foremost, let's go back to the beginning of her political statements and beliefs. Now this whole like running for office, she's going to be the president of the United States, like whatever, all of this is just kind of seemingly out of the Make America Great Again campaign and now how she's friendly with Donald Trump and now she has this idea that she's gonna become like a politician. So Scientologists are very egotistical, they're narcissists, and they have really big heads, because think about it, Scientology teaches you that you have the power inside of you. You are like a god. You have to go up the bridge and become more and more like a superhuman type of person. So of course she thinks like, yes, why not go and, you know, be the president or run for some type of office or be a part of Congress, you know? That's how Joy thinks as a Scientologist. She thinks she's the most powerful being on this planet because she's on the bridge to total freedom. 
I know, crazy, but that's what she thinks. So going back to the most recent political campaign with Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, she initially had a tweet supporting Bernie Sanders. I need one. Hashtag feel the burn. She seemed to initially back Bernie Sanders. Then things switched around. Then she said this. If you don't like the two crazy candidates running, write in or vote for the other three on the ballot. So now all of a sudden she's saying if the candidates are crazy, you can just write in someone else. So she's insinuating that Donald Trump and Hillary and whatever are not suitable political candidates. Then she goes around and makes a negative tweet about Donald Trump. Yes, Trump supporters really are that stupid, lol. So it's very interesting that at first she seemed to be supporting other political candidates. Then she decided to go on the Trump train, so to speak, and she started to endorse Donald Trump. And even when she spoke to the press, even afterwards, if we fast forward after he was elected and everything happened, then she's saying that she supports everything Donald Trump has done, even given what's already going on, I guess, in the world. She still supports everything that Donald Trump is doing. You were you were a little late coming on the Trump train. That's right. Uh, but you backed him. Do you still yeah. back him now 100% with some of the things that have been going on? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's funny because every interview I do, I get asked the same thing. Yeah. You know, now that Trump has done X, Y, Z, are you still a fan? Right. Are you still part of the movement? Are you still part of the MAGA movement? And I can say 100% with certainty, I am. Yeah. Now, why is she kissing Donald Trump's ass? The reason she's doing so is because she needs the protection of the Church of Scientology from government officials. So that would be the benefit if someone like her actually got to, you know, be elected into some form of government or Congress or some sort of important political figure position, is that she can help work and safeguard Scientology. Now, Joy has done Scientology workshops that she's actually hosted. Her interests are actually not 100% on what's actually happening like in the real world. It's really deep down to try to protect Scientology because they're in a state of emergency right now. Given what's going on with Leah Remini's show, about other members speaking out on YouTube, for example, or bloggers like Tony Ortega, Mike Rinder, who has his blog and working with Leah on her show, all the different press and stuff that's going on about Scientology, it's not looking very good. So now that she has a calm line, so to speak, calm line to Donald Trump, meaning that she can like pick up the phone and call him or has some sort of connection to him. I mean, he is even endorsing her to run for some form of office. So let's look at that and think, hmm, interesting. Why is Donald Trump, you know, promoting Joy Villa when she's a Scientologist and it's very publicly known that, you know, she, who is she qualified? I mean, only Donald Trump is qualified for any form of office, but, you know, who is Joy Villa? And why does Donald Trump have some form of interest in whether or not Joy Villa is going to be, you know, running as a Republican candidate for something? It's just really, you know, strange and interesting to me, to say the least. Because we all know that, you know, as there's a lot of pressure being put on by ex-members, Leah, all these different people, to government officials, to the police, to investigate Scientology, to possibly revoke their tax exemption. Scientology is very nervous. So now Scientology has to go and overly compensate to try to see like, who do we know? Who can help protect us? And we all know the police do protect Scientology. The LAPD, they take money from Scientology every single year. They speak at Scientology events. They're on stage. And I mean, I was attacked by Scientologists when I was protesting before. Call the cops and they did absolutely nothing because they get so much money and funding from Scientology where it's almost like, here's the cash, protect us and we'll keep funding, you know, the department. And that's what actually happens with the police and Scientology. So it's totally corrupt and it's actually really sad. You know, you would think that, you know, the police should be not picking sides on, oh, we can't you know, prosecute a religion or some sort of, you know, parishioner, for example, whatever, because they are funding our um, department. They're trying to get into office so they can try to prevent any form of um, tax exemption revocation, trying to prevent Scientology just being able to lose, like, their religious status, all that sort of stuff. They're trying to say, like, hey, if we're in government, we can maybe do something to try to protect our religion. So I also discovered when I was on Joy's website, I was looking at, like, her contact information, like, who her manager, like, publicist and that sort of stuff was. And one thing that caught my eye was Marlon Willardson Public Relations. 
and Marlon Willertson is a Scientologist. She also represents Michelle Stafford, who's on The Young and the Restless, and she's a very well-known Scientology celebrity. So, her publicist is a Scientologist, Joy's a Scientologist, and not only all of that, now she's raising money and getting donations through her website, and this is the thing about it, is that when you look at where the donations are going, it says Joy Villa Productions, whatever her company's name is. And then underneath it says 5930 Franklin Avenue. And you would think, hmm, okay, who cares about, you know, 5930 Franklin Avenue or whatever. It's actually the address to the Church of Scientology Celebrity Center International. And I know that very well because I was a parishioner there for many years. So that caught my eye as well. So you can donate up to $2,700 per individual, it says, to Joy's campaign. She calls it testing the waters, where you can actually donate to Joy so she can actually work on um, her political campaign and trying to, you know, raise funds and that sort of thing. But it's kind of interesting because she's not really necessarily following guidelines that you're supposed to follow in order to raise funds to have a political campaign, for example. And the donations are not tax deductible and they're going to the Church of Scientology if you send in a donation via mail, or the company, how it's registered, is to the Church of Scientology. So I would really just, if you were thinking one day to vote for Joy Villa, or you know, you hear more information about this, it's really important that others know that this is a Church of Scientology campaign. And Scientology is gonna be all about it, all for it. They say she's a woman, she's a Republican, and she's you know gonna be representing the Church of Scientology. So. Who knows, maybe even David Miscavige may, you know, put a little bit of cash behind her, you know, if it goes a little bit more, you know, further on and she actually, you know, gets into office or something actually happens where she's in a important role in our society. So I just want you guys to be aware of that and actually know who this Joy Villa is. She's in Scientology ads. She's promoting Scientology, you know, day in and day out. She has a song about freedom and all that sort of stuff. So you have to think about that. She has very deep Scientology ties. And now she wants to run for office. But how come Fox News, CNN, any of these news outlets that are interviewing her, like, yes, they're interviewing her because Donald Trump sent out a tweet in support. And now the news wants to interview her and get information and see what she knows about Trump and all that sort of stuff. I get that. But... I feel like, why isn't anyone raising the question about Scientology? Why isn't anyone asking her about Leah Remini's show? Why isn't anything actually being asked that are like questions that maybe the public should know about? So I just wanted to make this video for you guys because I was really upset when I was reading about Joy Villa trying to say that she wants to run for Congress. And I think she's full of shit. And I've heard about her when I was in Scientology and now thinking that she wants to try to run for some form of office. Again, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button down below. I'm gonna be making more videos daily for you guys. Click the little bell icon that's gonna notify you when I make a new video. And as you guys may or may not know, my channel is starting to get demonetized by YouTube. And I need your help. If you go to patreon.com slash Stephen Mango, for starting at $5 a month, you as my viewer will be able to help support me and my YouTube channel, be able to continue to expose Scientology. You guys, I'm going up against Scientology and I'm one person with a camera and a YouTube channel and I really need your help to be able to continue to stay afloat and being able to run this channel. So if you can please help me out, any bit helps if possible. My page again is patreon.com slash Stephen Mango. Thank you so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching.